Aren't we lucky, Bree? Just so lucky. <laughs> I'm lucky. Our friend and colleague, she has made such an impact on us and on the city of Nashville. And to everyone who has come behind you. So, of course, the next generation of journalists, they look to your legacy. Oh, you. They look for lessons in poise and talent. I do every day. <laughs> yep. And Chris Davis is going to show us that. Miss Vicki, you hear us? I can. Excellent. Five minutes, everybody. Building. Behind the scenes, a broadcast can be flawless. Leland, my check. What's going on this way? I know. The writing can be smart. The stories compelling. Take video. But all the rest of that falls short without heart. Oh, were you surprised? I was surprised. <laughs> I'm starting. And for the last 33 years, that's what Vicki Yates has brought to every newscast. Her empathy comes off on air. She is always locked into who she's talking to, and it's genuine. You can see it in her eyes. She's focused. She's there with whoever she's interviewing. A fact that pulses through our newsroom. And she is such an intelligent, bright woman, and it's just inspiring to see someone that kind of looks like yourself up there doing that. But it should come as no surprise. Your commitment is very admirable and inspirational to many people. That fact looms large. Usually when I think of News Channel 5, I think of her. Even in newsrooms, much smaller. Hello, and thanks for tuning in to WLVN News. I'm Jordan Wilson. Jordan and Wilson is one of the many Middle Tennessee kids who grew up watching Vicki. For a time, I wanted to be an anchor. And now his team at WVLN News in Laverne High School attempts to emulate what they've learned. For more information, reach out to Ms. B. Willis. Thinking about what she does helps me enunciate my words and think about what I need to do to be an anchor. One video tape, Vicky. He's in court trying to overturn his conviction. Seeing Ms. Vicky on TV, seeing someone that, with professionalism and such grace on our TV screens, it was. It made a major impact for me, I think. So. For Kirsten Ramsey, watching Vicky as a kid extended well beyond simple admiration. <laughs> um, I think that it's just very important to to see someone that looks like you. Like I said, um, growing up in a smaller town, you don't see that very much. Um, I would watch her see how she carries herself, how she speaks on TV, just, you know, kind of practice in the mirror a little bit. Vicky left such a mark. Kirsten decided she'd explore following in her footsteps. I fangirled a little bit when I seen her. Through a summer internship here at News Channel 5. And even if you missed the job fair today, you still have time to apply. Including a few days where she literally got to follow her around. It made me appreciate journalism a lot more because I was able to see all the work that actually goes into putting a story together. Kirsten is still considering a jump into journalism, and if that's the route she takes, she knows who will be her muse. A deal has been made, but just know that I could be there one day. May have to go, you know, get me some nice shoes, some nice heels or something, set my game up a little bit on that. It's tough to know we'll be losing someone with so much heart in our newsroom. Her heart will be missing, but I think she's given us a little peace. We've welcomed you into our household for 33 years. You've done a great job with everything that you've done. You're appreciated and be very much missed, very much so. But there is a comfort in knowing awesome because day. of Vicki. Thanks for watching WLVN News. The future of journalism won't skip a beat. Not just me, but a lot of kids have watched her and a lot of um, people in WLVN who want to be anchors are inspired by her and I just want to say thank you. With photojournalist Katherine Stewart. I don't much want you to go. Oh, thank you, Greg. Chris Davis. News Channel 5.